Hey YouTube, this is a, an update on my 97 GMC Sierra, a little 1500. I bought this truck from a neighbor for $800 and the transmission was out. It had a little automatic in it, uh, 700R4, which is covered in mud and shot. And I decided for really no reason to put a standard in it. Uh, a lot of people online have some information posted about this. I figured I'd let everybody know what I've found so far. Um, first of all, the little 4.3 in it, um, which eventually I'm sure I'll swap for an 8, but it had a uh, blown set of intake manifold gaskets. So I did the gaskets. I used the Felpro kit, pretty straightforward. Put all new hoses, belts, alternator, starter, idler pulleys, everything as I went. So it's all, uh, you know, pretty reliable now. Um, but anyway, as far as converting it to a standard, right there on the firewall to the right of the brake booster will actually be a solid panel on the firewall, if you can see that. Uh, the holes are actually there, or the circles are there where the bolts come through for the uh, clutch pedal bracket and they're actually even center punched you just drill those out this one against the booster is kind of hard I used an extended uh, like an electrician's drill bit to get that one kind of scuffed up the brake booster but really doesn't matter on this truck even this center hole is pre-punched cut that out with a hole saw just took the fuse block loose right here to give me a little access um, Obviously, the truck will need a, uh, a clutch, so we've got a, I don't know if you can see that, it's kind of dark, but I've got a brand new clutch, uh, flywheel, you know, pressure plate, the whole bit on there, and what I'm going in this truck with, I know a lot of people run the NV4500 because it's a lot heavier duty, but I've got a Reman uh, NV3500, which is what would have actually come in this truck. So I went to the wrecking yard, stole the brake pedal and clutch pedal, complete assemblies out of a donor truck, uh, dropped the steering column, took off the bottom of the dash. Uh, the inside of this truck's pretty nasty i took the i could have left the vinyl floor in but i yanked it out because i even the uh, floor pan is stamped where the shifter goes so i'm about to jigsaw that out and i didn't want to do it through the uh through the under padding plus i'm going to clean this floor up before it rusts all the way out um the brake pedal there's actually a bolt way up on the right hand side under a bracket you can just get it add it from the AC side and then swap the pedal out the clutch bracket um, same deal it's way up on the firewall and then there's also a stud and a screw hole up top that hold it in and it actually unbolts and comes out uh, all I've found that's gonna be a wiring issue so far is this little green and black pigtail here at the base of the column was actually for the uh, park switch for starting so I believe I can either hook that to a clutch uh, start enable switch which I really don't care about to be honest with you so I'll probably just uh, wire those together and then uh, on the autos there's a cable a little cable on the ignition that if this thing's not in park it traps the key so I'm probably going to do away with the lever. I'll eventually find a manual column, but for right now, I don't know if I'll leave two levers in it just to confuse people or if I'll just pull it out and probably just crimp that cable maybe where it's pulled all the time. Not sure what I'm going to do there, but I'll, that's minor compared to what I got going on right now. Um, the only thing... I've looked at the computer for the two different trucks. If you look them up online, they come up to the same computer part number. So I'm not really sure if this thing's going to 
run or not the transfer case in this thing looks like uh, absolute garbage I've got to swap the input shaft on it to a 32 spline give it a bath obviously but the speedo sensor and all of the four-wheel drive light sensors are in the transfer case on a four-wheel drive so I really don't think uh, anything off of the transmission is going to hang me up the NV3500 is the exact same length uses the same mounting location same cross member uh, same everything I've got to pull the cooling lines out of the back of the radiator but again that's not really a big deal either um, I'm going to take the drive shafts and get new U-joints put in them and hopefully I'm about to get out a jigsaw and cut this shifter out um, hope to have a functioning clutch in this thing by the end of the day and then I'll have the transmission in it mounted and I'll just have to get my transfer case finished and uh, should have a pretty uh, pretty good little running truck so I'll post another video when I get it uh, actually get it together